Five men will enter the octagon with a reach of 67 inches. Now to get this main card started proper, here's Bruce Buffer. Keith Peterson getting the first main card assignment. The beautiful Red De La Cruz with us tonight live on pay-per-view. And glad you are too. Piotr Jan trying to improve to 6-0 in the ready? UFC by taking fight. out the legend Uriah Faber. Tonight's fight clock is brought to you by Modelo, brewed for those with a fighting spirit. Jan is in black, Uriah Faber is in white. Jan did get caught with a big left hand by John Dodson a couple fights ago, but fought through that. Has fought a very good schedule in the UFC that spot. And for the way that Piotr Jan fights, he can't take a shot, John. Like, you have to be able to take it because of the way he gives it, the way that he fights, that style, that face forward style. Sometimes you're gonna get hit. He's willing to take one to give one because he's so powerful. He's got Uriah backing up, yeah. controlling the center of the octagon well, keeping Uriah against the cage, strong low kick. He's got Faber on his heels already. Yes. If Uriah has an advantage in the fight, he's got to step in knee. Uriah's advantage is in the grappling, particularly his chokes. Uriah has one of the nastiest guillotines in the game. Yeah, you know, these reactions from Faber are too big, though. Jan is fainting. Faber's giving him way too big of reactions. He will allow Jan to get the reads that he wants in order to try to go and start to damage him. UFC 245 is brought to you by Six Underground, a new film from director Michael Bay and Ryan Reynolds, only on Netflix. Left hand landing a moment ago for Piotr Jan. This is what Faber needs to do. He needs to be out in the center of the octagon where he can kind of control the engagement. He can decide to wrestle or he can strike with him. But when his back is against the side of the fence, he's in constant danger. Oh, nice combination by Jan, starting with a head kick and then a one-two. Yeah, I don't think either one of those landed, but they're definitely getting in the neighborhood. Uriah can't throw those naked kicks. Mm -mm. He's got to hide them. Well, Jan's not even blocking them. Yeah. He's just kind of leaning back out of the way. He knows where they're going, and he knows he's not going to be there. Yeah, Uriah was thinking about it there. He was thinking about hiding it behind the punches there. You saw him lift the leg up to kick. The little hesitant. Ooh, good right hand by Jan. Uriah getting, now he's getting competitive. Jan made his UFC debut June of 2018. A win over Faber's teammate, Teruto Ishihara has steadily climbed the Bantamweight ladder since. Faint, heavy, favor. There's the clinch. You can see how Jan defends very well. Jan's being so patient. I mean, you know that he's, he's, he's hell on wheels, you know, but to watch him be this patient, you know, try to wait for your eye to slow down is big if you're a Peter Jan guy. Well, he was patient similarly with Jimmy Rivera, who's a very dangerous guy. Looked for his openings and found it late in the first. Uh -huh. He's a patient guy. He just missed with a big uppercut. Yeah, Faber able to slip his head off that center line. Just over a minute to go here, round one. Oh, nice uppercut there. Oh, he heard him. He heard him, he heard him. He heard him bad. Uriah tagged him with a left hook. Yeah, one of, one of Faber's best offerings of the fight thus far. Looking for the takedown, but Jan's defense is excellent. Pulls out of that very quickly. Well, that's the danger for Faber. Whenever they come together and he tries to get a takedown the tip, and they're breaking position of when Jan is hitting them with real nice shots. Watch here. He's got to be careful here. You yep. see that? Yep. Yep. It's, like when those, it's like when they break those clinch positions, you got to be very careful. 
Nice inside low kick by Uriah. Jan with another knee, seemed to miss that one. Good start for the Russian. Tonight's corner cam is brought to you by Body Armor. The Here's that Uriah Faber knee, partially blocked by Jan. And there's a big body kick by Jan, perfectly landed. Uppercut, this on the chin. Beautiful technique by Jan. <laughs> Now in this second round, this is where I look to see Jan open up. I think he's got the read on Uriah's timing, and I think the pace will increase substantially in this second round. And we'll see if Faber can follow up on the instructions from his corner to threaten the level change and try to grapple here. As Faber lands a right hand and then retreats. Uriah likes that step in knee. Faber, one of the better transitional fighters in UFC history, mixes it up well. Hasn't really threatened the takedown much tonight. That left, left hand will work. Beautiful left hook. He's had some success with that, particularly in the first. Good movement. Because Jan's not really paying much attention to the left hand because Uriah's been slapping it. Maybe he should sit down on one of those left hooks as he's just kind of slapping his landing. He sits down on one, maybe it'll have an effect on Jan. Uriah's got to do something to get Jan's respect. Big miss from Faber. Nice combination from Jan. Oh, now we get that. Uriah's got double underhooks. Let's see what he can do with this. Faber trying to grind on Jan here. He's getting frustrated. He don't like this. He's never been here before. That's me! Was looking for that neck. Jan constantly switching up the stances, going orthodox here. Oh, they're, they're talking to each other now. Faber can't, Faber can't get drawn into this fight. Jan's too powerful. He wants the, the, the fight a little bit more in his range. Oh, he got attacked with that left hand. Jan is a powerful guy, man. Every time he lands, it has this effect on your eye. Look at that. That was just a jab, and Faber goes flying on the side of the octagon. Beautiful level change by Faber. Oh, great kick down the fence. Lift knee by Jan. Well, most opponents as Jan catches. He's smiling at us. He got hit hard. He ain't needing the body there, too. Faber's like messing around. I can't even look at him. Just wave to his wife and daughter sitting off the gun side here. They love the baby. He's stunned him. He's stunned him. He's stunned him. Pure Young is so patient and so good in these positions. He's not even worried about oh, the oh, oh, oh. I mean, That's what I'm talking shot. about, right? Like, look at Peorian. Faber's hitting him. He still just stays to himself, and it just finds a shot. That's a bad cut Faber's dealing with, courtesy of that elbow. These are big shots level, level, from inside. Level, level. I mean, but you're right, Faber is as tough as they come. No doubt about it. Oh my goodness, look at this. Drag to the ground. Oh man, he's gonna come in there. He is he's back. mangled. It's over. And Keith Peterson, Peterson knows yeah, he's stopping the action there's here to no take a look. There's no way they're gonna let him fight through this. And Faber's left eye. That is a bad cut. Oh there. my God. Oh wow. That is so bad. That elbow was nasty. Oh, it's gonna just 
If he continues to go, it's going to just blow up more and more. I think they might let him fight. I think they're going to let him fight. It's 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 definitely swelling up. It looks terrible. Hey, but he can see. He can see. It's so tough. It's going to continue to swell. It's only going to get worse here. Back in the same position. You're in his guard. Tommy! They're talking to each other. Nice job by Keith Peterson. They assume the position just over a minute to go here, round two. <clears throat> Uriah's got to protect that eye at all costs. Yeah, he gets hit on that a couple times. That thing's going to blow up, man. He's going for legs. Trying to get his back. He's got a leg. The forever game, Uriah Faber still fighting. Trying to match up some offense. Uriah Faber is as tough as they come. But I mean, the power of Peorian is something to behold. It's substantial. And it's the technique behind it, too. He's never slipping and, and losing position the way Uriah is when Uriah misses. Jan continuing to keep the guard high, working off of that jab. It's amazing that he's able to deliver this kind of power without ever overcommitting. Yeah. Watch the backhand of Fyodor Jan, though. That's the, that's the tell, right? The Watch the backhand. Down. That's all. We do that in wrestling. You, you switch the lock, back trip across, sit the guy right in your lap. That's beautiful. A huge second round for No Mercy Pyotr Jan. Tonight's corner cam is brought to you by Body Armor, the official sports drink of UFC with potassium packed electrolytes. Got good vision beside the fact that that's a huge Are you swelling. Ready? Sir, you ready? He can Fight. still see pretty clearly straight ahead. The peripheral is going to be a mess, though. Yeah, I mean, you know, it, it just talks to the toughness of Uriah Faber. We've seen guys. Get out of fights with much less than this, you know, but Uriah is not looking for an exit. What well, we've seen that the Aldo fight was the best example of that ever. I mean, his left leg was absolutely brutalized in that fight. Yes. He never tried to quit. We couldn't believe that he made it to a decision. And I mean, he's in front of one of the oh. best fighters in the world at 135 pounds. A young guy, I mean, dominant guy, and, you know, you can't say enough about the performance of Piotr Jan right now. No, you can't. And Uriah has had some success. He definitely did. Oh, oh that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Piotr Jan stops Uriah Faber in round three. I mean, he. Is, I mean, Piotr Jan is oh. on the target. You know, his technique is absolutely <clears throat> perfect. Here it is. Look at this. Boom. <laughs> I mean, and this was a Uriah Faber that was already in big trouble, right? So look at this clinch. Boom, and he catches him right on the face. I mean, but look look at how close very they are, Joe. Tight, very tight, very tight. I mean, look at the tight quarters that he can generate that type of power. This dude's a problem, man. He really is. In every in every every place the fight yeah. is. In every facet of martial arts. You want to hold? Or you want to watch? Huh?